Yeah, take it over, Em. So this week has been intense. Um, just a few hours ago, we learned that DeMarcus' cousin um, has a warrant issued for his arrest. Um, so he has a warrant for a Class A misdemeanor. And basically, allegedly, um, there's an audio that just got released of a phone conversation between um, he and his uh, the mother of his child. So in the conversation, you hear a chilling threat of uh, him basically saying he's going to put a bullet in her head because she said no to allowing um, their son to attend his wedding. Right. So. Right. So um, she she released the audio of a conversation they had where he was asking for uh, his son to, I don't want to say be allowed, but I guess kind of just give her blessing on, on his son being at the wedding. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that haven't heard the audio... <coughs> Um, he starts off pretty much making the threat. He right. basically says, I'm going to ask you one more time before I take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Can my son come to the wedding, please? Right. And when she says, no, I already told you no, he goes, I'm going to put a bullet in your MF head. Mm -hmm. um, very disturbing audio. We've seen similar interactions um, and similar situations right. uh, with other pro athletes. Obviously, O.J. Simpson is the most notable situation of uh, domestic violence that turned deadly. We've seen it with Ray Karouf. Uh, we've seen it with someone who was very close to your hometown and uh, Javon uh, Belcher yeah. with the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, like I said, the audio is very disturbing um, because obviously there was a certain comfort level for him to be able to say what he said. Right. This is not no I can't stand you or I can't wait to get you out of my life. Yeah. To threaten and put a bullet in somebody's head, is, <coughs> it's really taking it beyond the next level. Right. Um, you're making a threat on the mother of your child's life. And... For Boogie Cousins, um, he's a guy who isn't really well liked by a lot of the media. He's a guy who has struggled with image. We've seen him go at it with Charles Barkley. We saw how he reacted when the Sacramento Kings traded him. And to hear these threats, um, this could be career threatening for him. This, this could be a career ending for him, I should say, because he's a guy who already, with all the injuries, we don't even know where his future goes. And now you make these type of threats. You have an, a warrant out for your arrest now. You know, we can only pray that this really gets resolved the right way because there's a young child involved. But I have a real strong feeling that this might be the end of his career. And I don't know how he really recovers from this. Uh, the Lakers already said that they're investigating the situation. Uh, they're trying to figure out all the details as to what's going on because all this audio is very new. Uh, we don't know when it exactly happened, but the audio wasn't really released until this weekend. And now we're looking at a situation with Boogie Cousins again, who has missed a lot of time over the last two years because of injury wasn't already well liked by a lot of guys he's really holding on by for lack of better wording a string at this point for his nba career and you make this type of threat and you make these type of comments to the mother of your child uh in a recording um where all you're asking is for him to be at the wedding and for him to take it to that point again very disturbing news i don't know how we should really perceive it though i i think it's disturbing but i want to hear what you guys think you know what, what do you guys think on the trip um it, it, you know, it, it really sucks. It's kind, of, it's kind of crazy when I heard the whole thing because I'm just like, it, it, DeMarcus Cousins doesn't need this right now. Yeah. I mean, you're coming off a back-to-back, -back, you know, season-ending injuries where, you know, his career might have already been over anyway before this this whole thing came right. up. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I want to play, I I play a little bit of a, of a devil's advocate here in this situation, and I'm not, you know, obviously, clearly you can't be threatening to shoot somebody in that. That's just ridiculous. But I, I will say this. You know, because I, I know, you know, people in general can know how to, to, to get under a person's skin and know how to push the right buttons to get you to say or or do some things, especially, you know, when you're already somewhat of a hothead anyway. But, you know, especially when you're dealing with, with men and women and relationships and, and, and that, that kind of thing. Um, now, again, granted, I'm not with, with, with DeMarcus Cousins did it at all. Um, it, it's crazy, but I don't, and I don't know what their relationship is is uh, prior to that. But I do agree with you. I think this is going to be the end of his career if he can even come back from from this injury. Um, you know, I I just I don't see another team right now taking a chance and saying we want to deal with the headache that is uh, Demarcus Cousins. You know, it, it sucks. It, it, it really does because this, this you don't need this. You know, and it was because it, it was crazy because it's like he finally got a win. You know. It was like, all right, you know, he got, he's injured, got, got injured, you know, didn't get the contract, whatever, got to the Warriors, got injured again, came to L.A., about to start over, got injured again, yeah. 
But you know, he had he had, he had one good point. He had he had a little upside. He was about to get married. He found a new love, mm -hmm. and then this happens. You know, and, and and you know, playing games with men and women and children, it, it can get a little a little little sticky. You know, and I under, I understand. He wanted his son to be at his wedding. He wanted him to share in that moment. And you know, his 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 child's mother, his son's mother. She wasn't trying to hear that. She wasn't having it, and that caused a little you know a little bit of a of a back and forth. But again. You know, you, you got to control your emotions. You you cannot threaten people like that. Now, again, he's, he's got the warrant. So this is going to get bigger, you know, in, in the next couple of days. So when I first heard the situation, at first, not that I didn't think it was a big deal, but it was like, okay. But when I heard the audio is when I, like, you heard his voice and you heard him make that threat. Um, I think that this this situation is sorted. It's It's shameful on both parties. Um, I do think that, I'm glad that you brought up, you know, Javon Belcher. Javon grew up in the town next to me, and in 2012, you know, he killed himself and his girlfriend. Right. Um, so I think these threats shouldn't, um, they, sh they need to be taken serious. So I'm yeah. glad that there is a warrant issued. Um, so often, people or women are in domestic violence situations, and they think that, you think it's just threats, you think that, you know, maybe it won't happen again. Um, I looked at some of the comments on the Bleacher Report when they posted uh, that there is a, a warrant issued out for his arrest. And some of the comments were like just all over the place. But a lot of people were saying, oh, he wasn't serious or this. I mean, she, but did she die, though? It didn't happen. And we've seen this before where things actually happen, but we ignore the warning signs. So I think it's great that everyone's taking it serious. And what the people who were questioning whether or not um, she was spiteful and that it was inappropriate for her to say no, we're not in the relationship. You don't know yeah. how comfortable she is with this new wife. You don't know. Um, people are also questioning why was it recorded. Well, maybe he had a history of being violent. And she probably has. This probably wasn't the first time he made a threat. Yeah. I'm, okay. Now, as far as the history of, of being violent, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt on that for right now. Mm -hmm. We can't. So, yeah. We can't. Well, no, no, but hear me out. The reason why is because, yeah, we've heard about the stuff, you know, as far as his career goes, but we've never heard anything about DeMarcus Cousins in his personal life right. but there's going a, to that extreme. But so the there's reason, a lot of, there's the a reason lot of, we can't, and I'm sorry to cut you off, Em, I, I want to say, make this point. The reason we can't is because he was too comfortable getting to that point. Period. There, there, are, there are, I guarantee you, if you put a room full of men who mm -hmm. have had arguments with their spouse, baby mother, their wife, there are some heated things that are said. Yeah. But... You cannot tell me that he started off. The, the the comment we heard was well. Hold on, hold that's on. Just the recording started off. Right, all right, that's what right. That's where the recording started off. He said, "I'm gonna ask you one more time before right. I take it to the next level." Right. Yeah. And then his immediate next level was, "I'm gonna put a bullet in your head." Mm -hmm. And you. It wasn't. I'm cutting you off. Yeah. That'll be the last time you get any a dollar for me. Yeah. I'm gonna put a bullet in your head. Yeah. Now he took it to the extreme. Now again, I'm not. Comp I don't want to pretend that I know what goes on in a relationship because I don't. We only know the DeMarcus Cousins that we see on TV, yeah. right? That's all we know. But we have seen too many instances where athletes in particular take it too far. We've seen it with MMA fighters. We've seen it with boxers. We've seen it with baseball players, football players, basketball players, where it gets taken to a point where once it gets too far and yeah. the violence is too extreme, mm -hmm. then it's like, wow, somebody should have really stepped in. You make that type of threat on the street, you might end up with a bullet in your own head. Yeah. So for him to just casually say, I'm going to put a bullet in your head, who knows what has taken place before that? Right, and to say that because we never heard this before is kind of crazy because there's a lot of women who don't speak out on being abused or being sexually abused or that their boyfriend hit them before. Right. There's a lot of friends I know who at 25 years old just told me they've been raped like since their whole time they were kids. Or they were in a domestic violence situation. And because you've heard nothing, right. you're like, oh, that isn't in line with the character of that person. But a lot of women are afraid to speak out. So I think that's why this situation being handled in the way that it is, is great. Because it will encourage other women to speak out on domestic violence. And um, maybe record someone because they've been threatened in the past. Right. Yeah. Uh, Listen, if, okay. Because if, if, that's, if that's what's going on, yes, I'm in, I'm in full support of that. But at, this, at the same time, because... Listen, I don't want to be accused by somebody for something that that I haven't done. Yeah. Like we we spoke uh, a couple of months ago about the two football players, the two college players, and the, and the girl accused them of rape, and mm -hmm. and it was completely the opposite. N nothing ever even happened. 
So right. that's why I'm saying I want to give him the benefit of the doubt for now. Right. I'm not saying I'm 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 on his I'm team Demarcus Cousins. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying because yeah, at the end of the day, there are there are situations and, and a lot of times women may be scared or whatever and they don't come out and say things. Mm -hmm. But if you don't come out and say things, I can't just say oh just because because he he it's made this threat mm -hmm. that he's been beating her this whole time or some something's been going on. Uh, That's my only thing. I, right. I, I, I'm not gonna again. I'm not. I don't because, know because because there's a lot of situations right where, yeah. th where things are said about people but, and it's not the truth. But all right. So but at what point at what point are you so comfortable to say you're gonna put a bullet in somebody's head? Yeah, there has to be a prior aggressive. History. Um, yeah, I'm sure he talks crazy. Pop out and say that. And that's the thing. I, I know a lot of people that, that talk crazy like that and have never done it, maybe the least violent person in the world. But when you take a person to that to that point, and I'm sure his um, you know his emotions was involved. He was you know he's getting married. He wants his son at his wedding. And again, women know how to push those buttons in you. Listen, but you, I know men, no, you, ma no matter no, what, I would never say that. Would never say, I'm going to end your life, you're, though. You're, you're absolutely right. But let's let's take this for example, right? You with a woman, everything is good, and she like, oh, man, this is the best man ever. Everything is good. The sex is great. He loves me. But as soon as y'all break up... Oh, you know, your sex game is weak. You're the worst yeah, thing. But I'm not. Those are two different. Those are two different. But we don't know what those are two different. Right, but those are. But trip, we can't compare. Those are two completely different situations. But I'm, what I'm saying is, people can take you there. Right, but somebody slandering your name and then you making a threat are two different things. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, of course. He made the threat. Of course, I'm not talking about of that. Of course, anybody can slander your name. I'm saying he has a history because of the fact that we have never heard anything about it. I'm not gonna just throw that on him. That's right. But anybody can slander your name. Yeah, I hate in the street can yeah, say anything can about any one of us up here just to try to get somebody else to and dislike And someone you. that knows you personally can can make it even you making more a, You making a threat on somebody's life? Yeah, it's different. A direct threat. Uh, like, right. Like, and he's, he's wrong. He, he, is. he Not only is he wrong, I, I'm really interested in knowing more about this situation and how he handles this, how he handles the relationship with his son's mother. That's the mother of your child. Yeah. No matter how yeah. you feel, if, if you know she can push your buttons to that point, then somebody else should be on the phone with her making sure that your son can get to the wedding. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be the one in direct contact with her. It's easy. DeMarcus Cousins is in a position where he could easily have a family member a who is that mediator in between yeah. to make sure, yeah. like, look, I can't deal with her because she knows how to push my buttons and she knows how to get me angry. So, therefore, I need you to just be there and facilitate the situation. Yeah. I'm not asking you to, to be a father to my son, but facilitate that. Not... When you start off the convo, or, or I, again, not start off the convo, the recording. That's the thing, yeah. I'm going to take the thing, too. So, so let me ask you, so what was the level before that, then? My thing is there's I, no that, way that we take, don't know. You can't take a threat out that's, of context. Like, he said he's going to put a bullet in her head. There's no prior part of the conversation that can that's, justify what he said. That's, that's my issue, is that we don't know what's... Because we came into a recorded conversation. We didn't get it from, hey, how you doing? We got it from, can you do this, and I'm going to put the bullet in your head. So... We don't know if that, that conversation could have started off very soon. All right, so let me, let me ask you a question then, right? If, let's say you and, a, and a, another person have an issue, you've never seen them be violent, right. but they make a threat on you or somebody in your family, you're going to take it lightly and say, I'm giving you the benefit of doubt because I've never seen you be violent? No, I'm not going to take it in the bene as a benefit of doubt because you just threatened somebody right. in, in, in my family. I'm always going to gonna hold that in the, in the back of my mind. It's and I'm not, again, I'm, that's, not, that's not my point. I'm saying... We don't know if he has any kind of history of this, so I can't put him as being. Well, it shouldn't even matter. A threat on somebody's not, life was made. He, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Yeah, so you take it seriously, but and, and listen, and at the end of the day, and this is this is why if things are, and I know it's hard, but if this is why if something is going on, you have to speak out. I just because I just, we can, because now you come to a point where we've never heard anything like this, listen, and then he comes and threatens you. But listen, and and, and that's it. We say that all the time to all these women, but then as soon as they do, not even just women, they're everyone, spiteful, people in general, they're groupies, they're this, they're that. It's not easy for women to come forward and say that they've been touched, they've been abused, because the whole world is is root. They are rooting for these players, and even again when I was reading the comments in the Bleacher Report, everyone was by his side. I was shaking my head. Oh, she's petty, bitter baby mom. Like sometimes we really don't want you no more. It's not bitterness. Like you were a toxic person in my life. So maybe she's not bitter. Maybe she wasn't abusive. Like you know what I mean? Let me, just let, me, but let, me let me ask you this then. Then why not let his son go to the wedding? Because we don't. I don't know. Because maybe she's not comfortable with their family. Like well, it could be. What, 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 we don't know. Again, that's we, what I'm we don't know. But it still doesn't justify him saying I'm put a bullet in your head. Like no, no, no. it doesn't. We don't that's, know. That, no, 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 no. Yeah, obviously, because that's an extreme, extreme. 
Because he could have, like you said, he could have said, right. oh, you say, you know, if my son can't come, I'm going to cut you off. You but know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, but when I mean, the whole world was mad at Sierra for allowing Russell Wilson to, like, play catch with her son, all these things. Russell, uh, future, sorry, could easily been like, don't bring him to the wedding. I don't like him, right? We don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Even though we can be rooting, oh, we're rooting for them, we're rooting for this relationship. You don't know what happens behind closed doors to even say, like, why was there a reason that they couldn't go yeah, to the and wedding? That, and that's why I'm saying, because we don't know. I don't, I got, I need, I need more information to go on. We, and I, I think you just I, can't compare that to a threat. I, I, I see what you're I saying. Right, I completely agree with you, Trip. We don't know. But I think once you elevate it to a threat, yeah, yeah he wild now, out. He wild now out. it's it's a we're we're having a completely different discussion now, right? No, no. <laughs> had had she recorded it or he recorded it and he's asking, hey, I need my son to be here, and he gets heated and he says things to her along other lines, whether it's financial or whether it's this is why we're not together, things like that. Fine, yeah. everyone would agree with you know what? She is a bitter baby mother. Yeah. She is someone who's spiteful now because they're not together, and she is upset that he's marrying another woman. Yeah. But the I just would like throw, to hear the whole conversation. But That's the moment you throw the threat in, yeah. it almost confirms anything she says about you now. Yeah. And when, and you, it, when you have a, a Ray Carruth situation where he hires a hitman right. to kill the mother of your child, when you have a situation of, you know, Javon Belcher killing the mother of his child... Shit like this, you can't take it lightly. Like, yeah. you can't. I, like, I'm not saying you're, you're, you're yeah, justifying. Right. I'm just saying, like, all the other context just doesn't matter, in my opinion. Yeah, it because, he, because, he, because he, he, took it, he took it to the extreme. He, you know, right. He, he, and I think that, that's, where the, the, that's where all of this makes you question who he is as a man and right. what's really going on. As, as we all started out, none of us know DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah. We don't know. He may just be a guy on the court who portrays the bully role. And off the court, he could be a big teddy bear. Yeah. We don't know. No, let me, let me, and, this, and this situation may be the one instance where he's portrayed wrongly. Yeah. But you cannot make that type of threat and then think that it's just going to get wiped away like nothing ever happened. Let me ask you this, though. Would you feel differently if the beginning part of that phone conversation came out and, and, she, was, and she was on some, oh, all right, I'm, so I'm going to get my cousins in them to whip your ass? Yeah. Now, would you? Now, now would you Absolutely. Would, if if, if she no, made a threat, but, no, so it's, so it's okay. Is, threat, it, is it okay for him to still take it there? No, no. What I'm saying is, if she made a threat and he I responded mean, in anger, my to whoop your ass and put a bullet hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Anyway, if she made a threat and then he responded to that threat in anger, that's different. We heard him say, "I'm gonna ask you one more time, and then I'm gonna take it to the next yeah, level." Because that's what she wanted you to hear. Because that was what was recorded on the phone. Because we don't know. It's not. It's not a matter of what she wanted you to hear. Because this is him speaking freely, thinking no one's listening. Right. Yeah, and this is her recording secretly to... But Trip, then this leads back to my point again of, he was so freely saying this. Yeah. So what else has taken place before? I, that's, that I, I, right. Yeah, I can't, I I, can't say it. I'm, I'm going to say it like this, and I'm sorry to cut you off, yeah. man. If somebody were to make a threat to me, I'm going to respond according to that threat. He started off calmly saying, I'm going to ask you one more time before I take it to the next level. So what level were we already on that you feel like I could just make this threat now? Right. What, where were we at already? That's the next level for him, I guess. Uh, listen, I, 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 I can't. So you so we gonna try to pretend that maybe he's never been verbally and physically abusive, right. and the next level is immediately shooting you in the head. Which is why well, she probably made herself comfortable ha, to record it. Have you ha, have you ever been in a situation where I, I know you personally? You're more, for the most part you're a very chill person. Now, there's never been a situation where somebody's gotten you out of character. No, it's happened. That's what I'm, that, that that that's my only thing. Is like I, I'm. I'm I want to see everything first before I can condemn the whole situation. Because if something comes out later to where she initiated this thing and, and just so she could have this little recording and, and set this whole thing up, then we all going to look at this and be like, damn, that's kind of foul. Yeah, I know what he said was, was messed up, yeah. but she did kind of egg the situation on. I don't know. I'm not saying that's the I case. That. But since we don't have the entire conversation and it's her who recorded it and recorded it at a point where she chose to record it, I got to see everything, all the information first. Okay. A after um, OJ's case, there was this book that came out from this. Um, well, OJ was, was found not guilty because if the glove don't fit But he also had a history of abusing her, so... I, I digress. Um, there was a but in the court of law, because you know brothers don't get that shake in the court of law. But in the court of law, he was found not guilty. That's a that's a that's a that's that's a whole another hour session <laughs> we need to have to get into that. Um, but there was a book right, ahead, um, written by this professor from American University that was called um, "No Bruises: What We Don't Know About Domestic Violence Can Kill Us." And I think that 
it's just important for people to take even a, a threat that some may think is a small threat, even though I'm pulling a bullet in someone's head, isn't, um, is being taken serious. So I'm looking forward to see how the league re responds to this. I know he already has a warrant issued. Um, but, you know, I think as a culture, we always hop on the bandwagon of these, you know, athletes, of these people with influence. Yeah. And when I think about Jomon Belcher, when he, um, during that day when he actually was driving on his way to kill his girlfriend and him, he got pulled over for speeding. When he got pulled over, the cop, um, I think he was drinking. I, I don't, I don't want to uh, say the wrong information, but... He was doing something that was disorderly con conduct, but because the officer recognized him as, right. oh, you're the Chiefs player, blah, blah, blah. Right. You're having a bad day. You're driving a little too fast. He let him go. And who's to say that if that officer actually had taken him into prison that day Things or arrested him. Or at least made him sit in a cell for a little something bit. Something to calm right. him down. Yeah, he could have cooled off. Maybe, maybe he could have cooled off and yeah, maybe, maybe it wouldn't have been, been different. Shot Cassandra that day, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then himself. So when I just think about the level of even privilege that a lot of these athletes have that he, you know, got a, got out of a speeding situation and then killed himself and his family, that what could have happened? And this is that same parallel in regards to a red flag, so. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I think um, the instances we talked about, OJ, there were signs there. Now, whether you feel he killed his wife or not, the signs were there. Right. Right? Uh, Javon Belcher. Mm -hmm. Javon Belcher might be the scariest mm -hmm. because she had never reported anything. Yeah. She had never talked about anything. So for it to happen in an instance like that, and her family left with all these questions as to was she trying to tell us something? Was she yeah. trying to warn us? Mm -hmm. um, Ray Carruth is another situation. Mm -hmm. Even though he had never been physically violent towards his, his baby yeah. mother at the time, right. he hired a hitman to kill her. Yeah. And there may have been discussions between them where she might have brushed it off for fear of being viewed as a bitter you know, baby mom, baby mom <laughs> or a yeah. bitter ex-girlfriend. Because for people that don't know the Ray Carruth story, when she told Ray that she was pregnant, they were broken up. Mm -hmm. So there may have been a history there and she was scared that I don't want to be portrayed this way because we're not together anymore. Yeah. I just want to have my baby and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. And but for fear of, of public persecution and I don't I don't want to be looked at this way and I don't I don't want to be stereotyped. I'm just going to keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. He had her murdered. Yeah. And here we are 20 plus years later. Their son was b born with massive defects. Because of that attempted assassination. Yeah. yeah. And now he's trying to get custody. Right. Like, what? So, you know, this is why, I, to me, I, Trip, I, I kind of understand where you're coming from, but I, I think in no way, shape, or form can we take that lightly. Mm -hmm. A threat was made. Right. And, and simple as that. You cannot make that type of threat and then think or use or behind the, uh, hide behind the excuse of, well, she got me to that point. She knows how to push my buttons. Because then what would have happened if you guys were face to face and she pushed your buttons? Right. Well, listen, because that's not the, the issue. We, it's not about it's not about taking it lightly because because I, I still feel like you should you should be punished to the fullest extent. So if I just in in the midst of that, I want to know the entire story because yeah, he's whatever whatever the case may be. He's already there's a warrant for his arrest. That's it. Right. He's, he's going to be arrested. So now I want to know the rest of the story. I want to know what happened because at the end of the day, because now after this happens. Now his career is on the line. Right. Oh, so I, think I, that, wanna, I think it's done. That, exactly. Yeah, I think it's done. Well, and, and that's right. why. So, yeah, okay, yeah, you do what you have to do. Yeah, he needs to be playing whatever. He should be arrested. Let's go through the system. Let's go through the entire mm -hmm. process. But let's get to the, the, the root of the story, too, at the same, at the same time. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If